Hello, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October New Moon reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Capricorn and we're going to take a look at the New Moon which lands on October 6th depending on your location and will flow into that full moon on October 20th. We're also going through Mercury retrograde at this time as well as a few other planets going retrograde. So we're going to see where your energy is at and possibly any challenges that may come up for you and how we can navigate through them. We'll take a look at what you'll be focusing on manifesting at this time. We'll see what your fullest potential is. We'll also take a look at action steps that you can take Capricorn to help you achieve your desired outcome. So if you are interested in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right. So I do want to tell you, spirit is really coming in. I, I feel like it's a departed loved one. Uh, I feel like I'm hearing Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. So somebody is coming in very strong. Maybe your name is uh, Rose or Roseanne. Uh, I feel like Rosie could be a nickname, perhaps. Perhaps it's an animal or maybe it's a place. I'm not sure here. Uh, please take it as it resonates. But spirit is coming in very strong saying, Rosie, Rosie. All right. So we're going to dive right into your reading here, Capricorn. And we have stag spirit. Take the lead. So a lot of you are taking the lead in a situation here. I feel like there may have been a little bit of waiting. You may have been uh, between worlds is what I'm getting here, but I feel like you're finally moving forward on something you've been waiting on for a while. Uh, the next card up we have is Flamingo. Yes, and it says embrace the in-between. So again, you may be stepping in, stepping out of one world into another. Uh, there's some new opportunities coming up here. If this is a relationship, you are, I feel like this could be a fresh energy coming in here, or maybe you are trying to get out of one and move forward. Uh, if this is a job offer, you may be still in a job and you may have received an offer for another one. So there's something where your foot is in one door, your foot is one foot in, one foot out energy is what I'm getting for you here for this new moon. So a lot of you may be making major decisions during the month of October. Uh, we do have your energy with the six of pentacles showing up right away and it's about material and spiritual prosperity. So the Six of Pentacles says that there could be unexpected resources or unexpected news that comes in. Uh, it can be help from others at this time as well. It's about two-way abundance, equal give and take, generosity. It can even be some sort of charity as well. Um, but I feel like for some of you, this is uh, receiving news about a home, about a raise, about a job, uh, about, about your stability here, Capricorn. So you will receive some sort of news regarding your stability. They're also showing me, is this an ATV? They're showing me either an ATV or it could be like a side-by-side -side vehicle. There's something regarding a, a vehicle maybe being uh, purchased at this time or uh, maybe being sold where you're getting material, uh, you're getting money for it. Uh, please take it as it resonates, as it will not resonate with every one of you. But let's clarify this energy for you, Capricorn. I like where you're at. I feel like, yes, you're in between worlds at this time, but I feel like you are making forward movement. There is progress here. There is a change. There's transformation showing up. So let's look and clarify. Spirit, can you please tell me about this unexpected resource coming in? Yeah. So you have the Five of Pentacles showing up. So the Five of Pentacles showing up says that there was some sort of a either a financial or a health difficulty. There may have been in the past where you needed to either penny pinch or manage your money. This is saying that there is now a renewed faith in a situation, financial recovery. This is the end of a hardship for you uh, because you are receiving some sort of abundance, some sort of health, uh, excuse me, some sort of wealth, it could be health, health, wealth, and abundance coming in for you at this time that I just heard is going to save somebody's you know what. Uh, so some of you are receiving money that is needed at this time. It can be even uh, back pay due to medical injuries as well. It can be possibly even unemployment. It can be a VA loan or some sort of uh, money coming in here that's going to help you out. So please take that as it resonates. 
as the challenge for you to navigate through during this Mercury retrograde is that you do not have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders here, Capricorn. So there is a situation in your life that you've been really focusing on and um, finding that determination. This is the card of the wounded warrior. It's having that final push, that determination. Don't give up here. Um, don't uh, let your barriers go up because I feel like you can be persistent in this situation. You're almost there. It's almost like um, you're running a marathon here and you can see the finish line, but you're so tired and you're so thirsty and you just want to give up and you have nothing left to give. You're almost there, okay? I feel like spirit is now uh, bringing in some sort of beautiful gift to to help carry the weight of the world here. So you can see that you let your arms down and spirit has your back and he's holding everything up for you. And that's the energy that I'm getting here. So just wait a little bit longer. I feel like some uh, abundance may come in shortly after the new moon. They're showing me like the 8th or 9th uh, for a lot of you Capricorns. So do pay attention to those dates. You may receive some sort of news uh, as in the form of an email, a phone call, or even in the traditional mail as well. Uh, we have the High Priestess. Yeah, the High Priestess says there will be clarity as well. Uh, the High Priestess is all about trusting your intuition and uh, paying attention to your surroundings. A lot of times the high priestess is mute Capricorn and she doesn't say much, but she stands behind the curtains and she waits. She waits on what move to, to make next. And I feel like after this uh, either abundance or change or stability comes in here, you're finally gonna be able to get your foot out of the past and into the future here, uh, because right now you're feeling stuck. But with this, you're taking the lead towards something during this new moon cycle that actually is going to bring uh, a lot of a lot of abundance into your life. Let's get one more because I'm feeling a very strong energy Capricorn of uh, forward movement, forward movement. Spirit, what do we, okay. Yeah, there's an end of a hardship coming. So for some of you out there listening, if you have been going through, again, a financial hardship or if your health has really been uh, an issue, again, I am getting strong health for somebody or medical uh, issues, that is coming to an end, okay? And it may be a challenge to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I, I am seeing it coming in for you, okay? So stay strong. You have what it takes to overcome whatever this is for you. All right. Let's take a look here, Capricorn, and see what you're going to be focusing on manifesting during this. Ooh, right away. So some of you already have your eye on the prize. Oh, wow. So the question is what you should focus on manifesting, and the third eye is all about manifesting. It's about that third eye chakra. What are you envisioning in your mind's eye at this time? Uh, so let's take a look and see exactly what it is that you are trying to bring into manifestation a lot of you are asking for help you're asking for guidance you're asking for support you're asking for abundance in one form or another okay we have the empress the page of swords the four of wands and we have the lovers okay so some of you may be uh, making a choice uh, you could be leaving a relationship maybe stepping into another Okay, that's only going to be for some of you. But the lovers is a very, very important relationship, but it's all about making a choice. Do I stay? Do I go? And that could be where you're at. And a lot of you may be making a decision at this time to either stay and make something work or move on from a situation. Uh, we do have the empress. The empress is maternal. This could be a mother as well. So some of you may be um, choosing to reach out to a mother-like figure. For others of you, this is, uh, the Empress is somebody who's that maternal protection. She's knows she's confident, she's worthy, she's on top of her game, but she's also could be somebody who's pregnant as well. And you may um, have a choice. Do I stay with this person because I'm pregnant? Do I, um, I just heard adoption. Some of you may be thinking about, about, um, could be adoption. It could be something regarding a child or children as well. Uh, we also have the page of so uh, swords and the page of, excuse me, the four of wands. So the page of swords is the truth seeker. You can see that they're standing on this pile of books and they want to know. They want uh, their wishes to go out into the universe here. 
but they're also very curious creatures, very inquisitive. I call them the private investigators of tarot. They're always seeking out the truth here. And all you want is you want some good news. You want to manifest a happy family life because I just heard um, I didn't have that growing up. So if that, I mean, we all go through our own childhood trauma, right? But the four of wands is the card to either halfway to marriage. It can be the card of uh, stability in the home and relationships. Maybe you're buying a land or buying a home, but this is about you wanting to hit a milestone. So I feel like whatever this is here, there's a choice, a, a major choice that's going to affect your life for the rest of your life on this earth. And, um, it may have to do with some sort of birth or some sort of creativity or mother bonds here, uh, but you're you're searching, you're researching all possible avenues here. But ultimately, what you want is this happy, stable, solid foundation for yourself here. So that is what you are focusing on manifesting at this time. Let's take a look at what is your fullest potential. What is your fullest potential? We had two that came out. Okay. Oh wow. Your fullest potential here is the truth card. This is the world. Is uh, a cycle has ended. Okay, this is a completion in a situation. For some of you, this is um, this is a next level in a relationship. So possibly going from you know dating somebody to being engaged to being married. So it can come in that form. But sometimes the world is a completion. You've ended a cycle and uh, you're moving on from a situation here. For others of you, this could be a job or a course um, or even a certification, something that you are graduating and you're stepping up into this new level. So there's nothing else to learn. It's off to this new inspiring. And that could be where the in-between is coming from Capricorn. It's where you're, you're coming really close to wrapping something up here. Again, it can be a course, a job, a relationship. And I feel like uh, there's something that's working on shutting down in order for you to open up this new chapter. And that is the highest potential for you. Uh, it's all about partnerships and alliances as well. So the Three of Wands comes in and says this can be the card of travel, but it's the card of achievement. So whatever it is that you are kind of graduating from, You've learned the lessons here. You've learned what it takes to move on to this next level. And you're starting a big new chapter. It's like you're starting the journey of the fool all over again, but based on wisdom. And uh, we have a lot of truth, a lot of clarity coming in here. And with the three of wands, it says that you're, you're moving forward, especially if you've been waiting or if you've been in a process of needing to learn something to go forward. Uh, you're finally uh, being accomplished at this time. There's accomplishment. So I like this for you a lot. Let's take a look at what this ending is or what is this completion for Capricorn. Two of Swords. Uh, maybe you've uh, you've made a, de a decision here, okay? You've been stuck between a rock and a hard place, weren't quite sure which direction to go, maybe at a crossroads or stalemate energy, but I feel like you're finally taking action, uh, especially with the stag. And that's what you're, are, your fullest potential is. You're taking action. You're making a decision once and for all. Woo! I got goosebumps as I said that here. I feel like once you make that decision, though, uh, there is uh, partnerships and alliances. There will be truth in a situation, but there will also be forward movement. And some of you may be relocating. Some of you may be traveling or going back home is what I'm hearing as well. So let's take a look here. And uh, actually, let's take a look and see what energy you need to keep this momentum going. What energy do you need to surround yourself with? To keep this momentum going and the momentum is to keep moving forward let's take a look here oh my gosh we have the Empress showing up again okay so the Empress energy is know your worth it's stand in your own power it's um, be very compassionate very loving towards yourself towards others understand the process here the Empress is about that again fertility bringing life to situations and um, self-love it's all about self-love so in order for you to continue this momentum a lot of self-love healing and nurturing she is a healer she's this um the one that brings love and light to all so i love this let's clarify spirit can you tell me a little more about this beautiful empress energy showing up here yeah the choice you're release releasing yourself from anything toxic 
Uh, I love this for you. Um, the devil energy is anything that is tempting you. And I feel like anything holding you back here, it, anything tempting you to stay where you're at, that's uh, you've outgrown a cycle, you're releasing at this time. So in order for you to keep this momentum going, don't let any of these old strings hold you back. This can be any addictions, this can be obsessions, this can be lies, it can be codependency, materialism, manipulation, you name it Capricorn, whatever holds you back on your soul's purpose, your soul's journey, you're releasing and you're moving forward. And that is how you can continue to stay going forward uh, and achieve your desired outcome. Whew, powerful energy for you Capricorn, utilize. I feel like, um, Especially Mercury in retrograde, a lot of other planets going retrograde here, and uh, we're coming into Libra season where it's all about partnerships and alliances, and you did get that card. You're healing a lot, you're releasing, and you're, you're letting go. We have the Six of Cups energy showing up here, and the Six of Cups regarding the Empress on how to keep that momentum going is um, <coughs> release the past. Okay, the Six of Cups can be a card of returning from uh, a person returning from the past, which that certainly could be the case. But the energy I'm getting for you, Capricorn, is you are working on um, childhood wounding. You're working on a, uh, the difficult childhood that you've possibly had here. This can be the card of second chances as well, but I feel like what this is saying is you're giving yourself a second chance. You're putting the past behind you and you're moving forward into this new energy. And I really think that you're going to like this side of the, uh, this side that you choose, you're going to enjoy that energy a lot more than where you've been is what they're telling me. I feel like the, the light is being illuminated at this time and you're bringing, uh, bringing more love, more light into your situation here. So let's take a look here. And this is also action steps too, to help you achieve your desired outcome. So take the memories of love from the past and release the memories of fear, of hate, of toxicity, of things that you've done wrong, Capricorn, of things that other people have done wrong to you. Uh, release, surrender, and let go is what Spirit is saying. Release, surrender, and let go. Because I feel like that ultimately will help you move forward. So let's get one more card regarding action steps from this deck. Yeah, there it is. You're releasing. There's this that emotional loss within you here. So this is about you appreciating what you have and having faith in the future. So I love this. You're finally uh, at that point where you are willing to surrender and move into that next stage. There's no, you're in the in-between, but you are coming out stronger from the situation here. We have Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. So yes, a lot of you are working on healing yourself at this time. You could be healing or mending other relationships in your life. Let's take a look and see what other action steps. They're also telling me again, self-love. So action steps that you can take to continue growing Capricorn. Fill yourself with more abundance, more self-love, self-care, nurturing. It says you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful and use your spiritual power to bring great blessings of service to the divine. So yes, you are a powerful light worker here. And I feel like you will actually help others heal through your experiences. That may be something you do currently is helping others. Uh, through your own experience. So whether that's addictions, whether that is codependent relationships, maybe that is dealing with infidelity and how to move on. But whatever, uh, it could be even childhood wounding. It could be uh, emotional or physical abuse. You're moving, you're healing and moving others by your experiences. It says, have you asked the angels for help with this? And there's Archangel Raphael. Wow. So I feel like this is extra confirmation that uh, that the angels are by you, helping you on your healing journey at this time. So very, very deep message for you, Capricorn. Wow. You're breaking free from uh, any of the past that's been holding you back. So uh, we're just going to pull one last message from the Soul Truth card deck here. And I usually ask that either you pause the video and really think and contemplate on your answer, or maybe even journal this question here. And... Uh, the soul truth cards can be deep. And the question for you, Capricorn, is what can I burn? What can I burn? It says burn it. 
burn it all the ugly lies the pain the shame the criticism the images that run through your head the reminders of what you did wrong and the proof that you are not enough burn baby burn your soul is calling it's time for a rebirth you are like the phoenix rising from the ashes no longer attached to the past you are free your wings are ready use them today's soul action oh capricorn i gotta tell you I don't think I've ever got such big goosebumps and such a whole body emotion right now. I feel some of you may be crying tears. Whew, I'm about to cry with you, Capricorn. Your sole action is make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? Holy moly, Capricorn, that is everything we have been talking about the next chapter, the next phase. What does that look like to you? Some of you may be writing a memoir. You may be journaling uh, your experiences at this time. Maybe you wrote a long letter, a long book, but didn't send it. Uh, but it's talking about what can I burn? Some of you, um, write it down. Write down the pain, the lies, the people who've hurt you, the criticism, starting at the earliest age that you can remember Capricorn and then burn it. Burn the sheet of paper, especially uh, during that new moon into that full moon energy. It's all about release, okay? Release, surrender, and starting fresh. So you have a new chapter coming in. You are that phoenix rising from the ashes. Whew, powerful messages here. All right, Capricorn, I almost don't want to let you go because this energy is so deep, so profound. But I must, and I am sending you all out a lot of gratitude, a lot of love, a lot of hugs and support, and I look forward to tuning into your energy next week. Lots of love, Capricorn.